how do you kind of delineate from fructose as in fruit as compared to high fructose corn syrup and processed foods? And how should people sort of separate these two that, that may be confusing on the surface to them? Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, it's, it's really about the dose. And go ahead and eat an apple. You know, you're going to get five grams of, of fructose in an apple, some grapes, whatever fruit you want to have. You don't want to overdo it, but you don't want to have apple juice. You don't have orange juice because you're then immediately delivering a huge amount of fructose to your body that, you know, we can handle about five grams of uh, fructose in the small intestine. When you get uh, higher levels than that, uh, then we begin to amplify uric acid production and we're sending a powerful signal to our bodies, as I mentioned, to make fat, to ratchet down mitochondrial function and uh, ultimately you know, lead to metabolic dysfunction. So mm. when you eat an apple, for example, and I think this is where you're going with that question, you're delivering that fructose along with other things like fiber to slow its absorption, vitamin C to increase fructose or uric acid secretion rather, 